A multi-threaded program P executes with X number of threads and uses Y number of logs for ensuring mutual exclusion while operating on shared memory locations. All logs in the program are non-re-entrant, i.e. if a thread holds a log L, then it cannot reacquire log L without releasing it. If a thread is unable to acquire a log, it blocks until the log becomes available. The minimum value of X and the minimum value of Y together for which the execution of P can result in a deadlock are A X equals 1, Y equal to 2, C equal to 2, Y equals 1, C X equal to 2, Y equal to 2 and D X equals 1, Y equals 1. So this is a question from the deadlock section of operating system in which they are asking us about non reentrant logs. So this is a straightforward theory question. There are two kinds of logs which you need to know here. One is called re-entrant logs or recursive logs. The property of re-entrant logs is that suppose a thread is executing and it holds, acquires a log E and suppose it continues execution and comes back and tries to reacquire the log again. Now this log is already acquired by the thread. So when it tries to acquire the log E again, it sees that this current thread is the owner of this current log and this thread has the log already so it will allow this statement to pass through which means that this log can be reacquired by the thread a log can be reacquired by the owner of the thread again these are reentrant logs the other kind is non reentrant logs or non recursive logs the property here is that consider a thread that is executing it acquires the log e which is non reentrant if it keeps on executing and tries to acquire the log again now it will block here so this log is already with the thread but still it will block here because it's a non reentrant logs. So based on this we can try to answer the question. Here it's given that x number of threads are executing and there are y number of logs. They are asking the minimum number of threads and the minimum number of logs to cause a deadlock condition. So clearly one single thread and one single log itself can cause a deadlock if it's non reentrant log. So the answer is x equal to 1, y equal to 1. D is the answer.